Welcome to the Empire, this is Rampant, and welcome to a new campaign that I'm going to be starting today in the Last Alliance mod for Shogun 2, where, to no one's surprise, Numenor won <laughs> in my faction poll, so I'm not surprised by that. Uh, but we're going to be trying to play as the Kingdom of Dumenor during their civil war with the Kingdom of Anduin, An 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 Anduin? Um, where we're going to be trying to... Basically, right now, the main view I have for this campaign is we actually start out with a couple allies uh, with the elves and stuff, and uh, we're going to go with the long victory conditions. There's technically not a short victory condition campaign, so we're just going to go with the long. And I think we're basically going to try and make, like, a coastal empire. That's kind of my thought process. So I think this should be kind of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying this. If you guys do, make sure to give a super uh, uh, and sacrifice to the stupid algorithm so everybody knows that you're enjoying this. And any thoughts you have, please leave them down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. I think if I remember correctly, I can change na unit names and give renames to units in this mod, I believe. I'll have to double check that, and Shogun 2 does have that ability. I know Empire does, so I think we should be able to rename units. Um, if we have any, like, unique names for characters and stuff uh, that I think will be kind of fun to play around with. Uh, I'm going to slowly kind of scroll through the uh, little flavor text for this faction, if you guys are interested to read through that. But then we'll start to get it into here, where uh, the first thing we're going to have to do in this campaign is going to be starting out uh, with dealing with our Civil War. It is suggested uh, by the mod that I initially try on a hard difficulty. I will try this out to see if it if this works well. Um, from my playtests on my own, the... Uh, Mod is brutal as hell with morale, so I actually am very open to the idea of, hey, it's suggested by the mod, develop mod developer, play this on hard difficulty, so we're going to try it out initially on the hard difficulty. If it feels too easy, we'll up to difficulty, but for right now, that's what we're going to go with. So, we actually start with a pretty nice holding um, over on the aisle. I don't even know what the... Is it just Numenor? I don't know enough about the second age of Lord of the Rings. Alrighty, we finally loaded into the map, although it does always kind of put me up in the top right corner for some reason. But let's set uh, our sights back on down to our uh, island, where I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> I really don't. I make barely anything initially, which is kind of concerning. Um, we do have... let's see. So if I just look at my cities. So what makes me the, currently the most money is... Uh, is this my capital? This is not my capital, but it is just very wealthy. The main reason why it's so wealthy is mining. So mining's the main reason why it's making so much cash. So if we're going to want... Oh, so we got mithril mines. That's why. Ah, oh, beautiful. So I get to have a, a ridiculous economy because of mithril mines in my Casa Doom campaign. And now I get to have it over here too. So what we're going to try and see is... I want to check and see if I can initially get anything that helps improve the... Um, my, ooh, wealth to... Gold, silver, and mithra mines across all provinces. Yes, please. I definitely want to get that. Increased research rate. Food consumption. So we're going to have to be careful about that. So let's see. This is uh, reduced cost of infantry. So I'm definitely getting a gold worth jeweler first. I want to make sure we build as many of these in my kingdom as possible. Seeing as how I have a lot of money due to my mines. Uh, we're going to do that initially for you guys. I wonder... So at the moment, this area here... Um, it is losing food. So we will want to try and improve its food supply. Overall, food is doing okay. But we will want to try and improve my food supply a little bit um, in my regions. Um, at the moment, that would be attached to all of these buildings, which I can't improve until we get better research. I would say, ooh, the orchard isn't bad. Gives a decent amount of food, gives public order. I would probably want to say, yeah. So this is the research I want to get for that. I think I'm going to probably focus that down first, honestly. Clan a faction-wide tax rate bonus would be not bad. Uh, wealth generated by all types of fields. That's eh, not bad either. More morale for garrison units and fire arrows. And getting fire arrows early on might not be a bad thing. Um, this would take me six turns to get to this. I kind of do want to be able to get more food. So let's try and grab that first for our research. Um, I think I'm going to hold off on... Well, we could get at least... Getting better? I know we're going to be absolutely focusing on my archers a lot. So I will gladly get a better Fletcher here. Our, we have, like, basically no Cav. We only have the Numenorean Scouts. I'm kind of sad that we don't have any Heavy Cav, but we do have some amazing archers. And so I very much uh, want to focus on that. Uh, we do want to make sure we're going to keep focusing on our Blacksmiths. And I actually do not have recruitment capabilities besides just Hunters. So I will actually probably want to grab the small archery range as this should allow me to get better archers in this area. That's going to be a, a thing that we're definitely going to want to focus on, so we'll grab that. Then let's see if there's anything else I can try and do to improve my economy a little bit, because we don't start out with a lot. 
Um, I would say, again, the uh, Goldworks Jeweler, I want to get that in like all my regions. Um, it does cause public order issues, so we're going to want to make sure that we put that in areas that are really happy and have some excess food. Because as long as we do that, uh, you already have a Goldsmith Jeweler, so perfect. So you already have one there. Let's see if there's any others. So you already have one. Uh, this area is decently happy as well. It's not doing the best for food, though. So let's actually try and improve your food. So we want to do... Um, just go with that one for right now. Yeah, just go with the communal farming mountain fields for now. Grab that. This area is decently happy enough, though. So I will grab the Goldworks Jeweler because every single one of these that I can get to slowly improve my economy is great. Um, and now, looking at my troops. So, I have a lot of men to start out with, so I don't think we need to recruit. Looking at how things are set up for the, uh, the island. Um, right now, this is like my most important area. I have a lot of troops around here too. So what I think I want to do is I want to focus a lot of attention around here. Which I do have a couple armies that we can kind of gather together and start trying to siege you. Because this is a pretty wealthy city. Um, primarily due to mining, commerce, and farming. So that will, I think this is going to be my first goal. Hopefully I'm not going to get myself fucked over. Um, that will be the goal, first goal. I do also think over here is not a bad area to focus my attention. So, if we just go off, like, my largest armies... So, we have my faction leader, Miriel, here. You have my forces in Armenios. And I will be trying to gather you together with, I would say, this army over here. That'll give me about 3,000 guys to be able to try and focus on the city of... Um, oh, God, what the hell is that? Is that an L or an I? Oh, that is, that is an I. Uh, Ler Lerterian? I'm going to butcher every name. Just expect that, guys. That's what you guys know for my content nowadays. Um, so what we're going to do is... Fleet's okay there. Although I will actually put you into a port here. I don't know if you guys have custom ships right now. I know this mod, it is an early alpha right now. And so... Ooh, yeah, that's how you get the field sorcery here. That's the last thing I can upgrade right now. Um, so we don't have custom cities, if I remember correctly. I don't think so, at least. At least for my own playtesting, I haven't found any just yet. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to be using every general's bodyguard and every unit that I have available initially to kind of gather you guys together. So we need to get some forces gathered over here in uh, Nalturin. Yeah, Nalturin. So now over here in Nalturin, we'll gather you guys all over here and we'll start trying to see if we can push on into uh, Kulu Maratua. That'll be the first area we try and go for uh, over here. Let's grab all of these guys too. So, take a little while to gather all these forces. This is about, let's see, so there's um, six units there. We've got three units there, so nine. We've got then, so there's another four, so 13. So we have 14 units here. That's about the best I can gather together. And then I've got these four here. So it's 17 units. Yeah, that's not bad. Because um, I don't see, I don't see anything over here in this city, right? Yeah, no garrison. But we don't have enough men right now to try and assault it just yet. So we have to wait until we get the reinforcements. Although I could grab you guys. Oh, no, you just got here, yeah. You just got to this area. Okay, well, I can maybe get you guys a little bit closer. Yeah, get a little bit closer. Gather those men together. Um, I did... Okay, no, that's just the coast. I do not have any land, uh, any of the units down there. Um, I kind of actually want to take this area first, almost. But I do feel like I should... I don't know what kind of garrison is in this city. Because I feel like it might not be a bad idea to try and go over to this city. Try and hit that. I can just imagine the first turn I end, um, we're going to have things hit the fan. And it's not going to be fun. Um, I am going to take this general, though. Vex, let's try and have you group up over here with us as well. I can, what you can do here is, let's move you out a little bit. Try and get some better vision. So, they do not have an army in there initially. Okay, so, at the moment, I will say, I think I could start sieging with you, because I feel like most of my attention is actually going to be focused on the west initially, because for right now, I have a go I have an army here, I kind of want to wait until you're over here, I know the siege is going to be disgusting to try and deal with, so I think what we'll do is maybe have you sit here, this has a larger garrison, so that's actually going to be harder to hit, this one I think I can, you know, we're going to start sieging this. Start sieging it. So start just to just continue the siege. Just going to maintain that siege for right now. And I'll have you join on in with us next turn. And these are all garrison units. So the morale is nothing crazy. Do have a decent amount of archers as well. And what we'll say is, I think 
I don't have a lot of skirmishers in this army. Um, I do have some really good heavy infantry units, though. So what we'll do is next turn we should be able to assault that area, and I think that'll be okay. Um, hopefully with these guys as well. Like, this is all... That gives me a little bit more archers, at least. So we'll try and take this area. Probably have to then recover. And then we'll be making our way to try and take this city next after that. Um, other armies. I don't think I have anybody else to utilize. Oh, I've got you down here, but... I'm going to try and keep you to watch over the White House of Arundus. You can try and watch over that, but that's all my armies now at this point. Uh, diplomacy right now. So I do start out allied with uh, the Principality of uh, Vindulin, Vindulindi, uh, and then also the Principality of Pelagir. So I am allied with you guys initially. I am trading with the Elves and with the Principality of Elendhond. You guys I'm trading with. I'm not allied with initially. Um, Umbar, I am most certainly going to be, yeah, you're allied with the, with my Civil War compatriots, so I will be going to war with you guys. That's probably going to be my first target after we have secured Numenor, because at the moment right now, it's you, and, uh, so far right now, I'm also, I don't know if this is going to be part of my victory conditions, but I am very tempted to try and have it so that I will, uh, kill off, uh, Ga uh Mordor. As I think it would make sense. But basically, like, I want to really control a lot of the coast around here. But yeah, like, probably take Numenor, then here. And I, th I could see myself pushing up towards Mordor. I'll have to kind of see how things develop in the campaign. Well, they do have an army near around here. Uh, I'm withdrawing. As that is uh, not exactly what I was hoping for. Shit. <laughs> um, okay. I don't like that they have a full stack army over there already. Fuck. Um... That completely changes my plans initially. Okay, so yeah, hello. Yep, thanks for the uh, thanks for the mod. I appreciate this. Uh, oh god, I have to make sure I don't lose that city. I I'm I'm going to be walking back into Armenelos, um, as I think that would be for in my best interest. Um, I wonder. So, with you over here right now, that makes we have a full stack army here if they decide to attack us. Um, over here, I think this is going to be where we're putting a lot of our pressure initially. Um, I actually kind of want to start sieging you guys initially here. And yeah, maintain that siege for a second. And I can get... I can get you over here at least. Immediately. You're almost here. I, you might be in reinforcing range. Um, this army can get just a, not as close, but close. And then this guy, you can droop up with them. So, okay. Are they in reinforcing range? They are not in reinforcing range. I can, I think, get away with sieging. Because as far as I'm aware, uh, this army is nowhere not in range to be able to try and help out around there. Um, I do think, so, can I get you over into the city too? Because you'll be better than the garrison. I personally would say... I think we should have you go here. Make sure, like, we want to make sure we don't lose this city. Uh, I'm a little concerned that you weren't able to fully get over there, but okay. Um, I'm going to have you come down over this way to try and help defend these areas. And then what I'll do is, we need to focus on this area for right now. Uh, I can't lose this city. It makes me all my money, so no. Um, next turn, though, I will be able to get Numenorean archers. So we will be able to recruit a little bit more. Um, to have some better troops around here, because I really do need to have more archers around this area. Okay, so they are actually going to sally out of this area. Perfect, that's actually better for us, I would say. Um, they do have that reinforcing general, but the, these are just all garrison recruits for the most part. We are going to fight this ourselves, and um, I need to remember what my bodyguard is. I think my bodyguard, I can't remember if this bodyguard I have is, it's either a spear unit or it's an archer unit. I would prefer if it's the archer variant, because I have no skirmishers in this army, which is not exactly what I want. Um, but I think we should be okay with this force here. We do have a slight advantage against them. Even if we lose this fight, we can pull back, gather some forces together, and then uh, attack them once again. But I think we'll sh we should be okay, since, hey, my general's bodyguards are powerful as hell, and uh, they should be able to help us win this day, I would assume. So, the big okay, so they are an infantry unit. So these guys here, let's kind of look at their units. So you guys are the Numenorean bodyguard. It is a basic infantry unit. Can't get closer to the ground, sadly. 
But yeah, I've got you guys here. Um, I think you're all Soldier that type. Battalion standing by. You're slightly different. So you're the Isildur Illith Guard. Soldier battalion standing so by. you're a little bit different than everybody else. Are you my faction heir? Oh, this is fucking Isildur. <laughs> um, yeah, your stats are slightly better than everybody else. Let's see, okay. So we got those. We've got then got my uh, Numenorean Militia. And then we also have some Numenorean Spearmen. So I, I do I do worry that uh, for the most part, we have no archers. We've got good infantry, but no archers. So we're going to have to rush on in here um, and be a fairly aggressive. I would say that we'll have my um, Militia in front. Spearmen, I'm actually going to have you guys try and support them from the back line. Actually, maybe you guys should be in front. You have a better shield. You guys might take less damage from the archers. These guys have pretty small shields. Your shields are pretty big. Yeah, let's actually do that. We'll, we'll switch it. We'll have the spearmen in front. Spearmen right there. I'll have the militia behind them. And I'll have my elites, my uh, generals, in the back. We're going to start the battle. And what we need to do is we just need to make my way over here. So they have quite a few archers. There are some trees in the way, though. So that, that kind of helps me out. So we're going to make my way over here. I'm going to start trying to make my way up this way. And as soon as my basic infantry have engaged, I will have the rest of my forces try and surround this army. And if anything at all, again, the stats on these units at least are not the best. They are all just militia. So we should be able to do a pretty good amount of damage to these guys. God, I love these units. These are, units look great. I'm so happy. I know, it, it, even if it's only in the second era, I'm so happy we have a mod like this in Shogun 2. We don't have the custom cities just yet, but man, I am... I'm very happy I finally decided to try it out with this mod, because I know I've known about it for a while now, but I've just been waiting for it to hit, get to a point where I'm like, okay, I, I think it's ready to try a campaign. Oh, you guys are setting up. Are you in range? Oh, we're getting close. Okay, so, yep, there goes the archers. Hopefully, my spearman being in front is going to help out a little bit, because you guys do have bigger shields. So, charge on in there, guys. Kind of soak up the damage for the militia. You need to try and go over there. Try and get some of my elites over to the side, too. I hate that we have only infantry here. Hopefully, this doesn't hurt us. Yeah, so you're going to go around the side here. There we go. Get in melee with their skirmishers. I'll have uh, one of my... I'll have... Let's see. Is this... Uh, no, it's not Hisildor. I'll have you help out right in the middle there. So, you're going to stay around here, giving them some support. Then I can have the rest of you guys kind of start trying to flank around here. Keep going around. Keep helping out in the center. Gear, uh, militia, go around there. Let's see, this is... Uh, doesn't tell me who this one... Oh, that's, sorry, that's the militia. I actually sent my general's bodyguard, Marion. Marion's actually the one in there. Are you guys try and flank a little bit more. Oh, actually, we have to be careful. That is the uh, Numenorean bodyguard coming on in on the other side. See, so yeah, let's try and get you guys to flank them. The archers should break pretty nicely right here after this charge. This is a Sildor. There we go. Route these poor fools. So you guys can run those guys down. They have shattered. Yes, they have. Okay, let's keep reforming. They've got some of those spearmen just chilling there. Yeah, you guys, I need to have it so... You're going to need to deal with the bodyguard. So let's get my general hop out over here. I think I can have this unit come over as well. Try and help out against the bodyguards. Yeah, flank here. And then you guys keep going around the back side. Get you guys in melee. You can kind of go right here. It's my militia. Barely any damage. I love it. Where it's basically just we're having to focus on the fact that I'm more on morale. Love how visceral these battles can be so far. So let's get you guys in there to flank them. You guys form up. This guy is currently holding nicely. My elites are doing well. My elites are doing well. They haven't taken all that much damage so far. Yeah, this bodyguard's taking quite a bit of damage. You get behind them. Get behind them a little bit. And then, yep, still fully surrounding them. You guys are almost done over here. So once you guys have finished this section off, which I don't think will very take very long, given the fact that for the moment right now, do you have any abilities to help speed up the attack? We've got Rally, Second Wind, and Inspire. I think I can Inspire you guys to do a bit better. Because of what Inspire and do get in Shogun 2 been a while since I played it, so I always forget there what they do specifically. Um, boosting morale, great improving their marksmen and melee skills. Hell yeah. That's what we want. 
So I've got you, and I've got this guy. I can just basically... Sur oh, we also have Warcry, too. That, I know, is just going to be a morale penalty to the enemy. So, do Warcry, and then you also had Inspire. So I can kind of just inspire the other generals, bodyguards around here, which, sure, why not? Oh, I can't inspire generals. It has to be infantry. Oh. Okay, well, let's... Oh, no, you inspired him. Yeah! General Circle Jerk. I do appreciate how you guys actually fight so damn hard. So this area is just about to shatter. As soon as he does, I think that's the, the captain for the other army. Yeah, it is. Um, then we'll be able to focus all my attention over here. For the most part right now, this general's bodyguard is pretty close to dying. They've lost about half their unit so far. Yeah, these guys have now shattered. Okay, so let's now fully surround the remnants of the reinforcing general's bodyguard. We just need to kill you. So far, we haven't killed them just yet. I haven't gotten the notification that they died. Tiling. Oh, they are about to shatter. Oh, yeah. I, I want to try and get them... Uh, I'm not going to be able to run them down. Damn it. Okay. So, uh, can I try and run them down a little bit? I don't think so. We don't have any cav. Come on. Can you guarantee that the guy's dead? Maybe? No? Nothing? Okay. That's fine. Uh, I think that's good enough there so we can end the battle. Close victory. Yeah, we took a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy. But uh, that is going to drastically whittle down the garrison they have around here. Now, we can have it so that once we get all my reinforcements, we will assault this area. Unless they just fall to us. I can't remember with Shogun 2 if they sally out and I win. If it gives me the city. I can't remember if it does. I know Medieval 2 does. Um, but we'll have to see. But at least right now. Okay. Stuff in the west. I'm a little concerned about what's going on over there. I'm sorry, the east. But the west at least right now. Like, hey, not bad. Also, I don't know if um, Patrick Robinson is going to be doing a kill to ratio for this mod. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But, uh, because we had the battle details here. Decent amount of damage. Militia actually got the most kills. I'm kind of surprised by that, cause, because my bodyguards are pretty nice. But, uh, there we go. Not a lot of damage. They have... Technically, they actually have a lot of guys remaining. For... No, that's mine, actually. Never mind. Uh, 236 guys remaining. Not bad. So, we do not... Hi! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we had that one battle that went well, and then we have Pharaohs on here. We at least have the defense here. Oh, we have reinforcements, and I know Shogun 2 is pretty good about defenses. Um, they have so many archers. I at least have a decent amount of archers because of the garrison, so I've got six units of archers. They have eight units of archers. Um, I do have the reinforcing army. I do have that. So we have the garrison and the reinforcing army. So we get both. Um, I don't... Again, I don't know if we have custom cities. I don't think there are custom cities in this mod. Um, but we're going to try it and see how this goes. Yeah, it is just normal. Uh, normal Shogun 2 cities. That's what I kind of thought it was. Okay, so that means, since this is a normal Shogun 2 city, what we're going to want to do is I'm going to want to have it so that we're going to set up on the final layer. The final layer is going to be the best layer for us to try and defend on, because that means the enemy army has to walk up so many wall sections and make their way up onto that area. And I should be able to do a good amount of damage to them, and several of their units might fall to their goddamn death as they're trying to climb the walls. So what we'll do, this is the only thing I can't feel is kind of sad about this mod, is it is kind of fairly immersion breaking for this. But let's get you guys all off of where you were initially. Um... I think they were primarily attacking from the western side, wasn't it? Yeah, it looked like they were coming from the western side. So, uh, if I have you guys... So, we've got the Numenorean Steel Bowmen, who have an amazing amount of range. I love the fact that you guys have an insane range. So, you guys can hit all the way the fuck over there. Oh, my God. So, we'll have you guys set up here. Because so we'll have my archers set up initially. Trying to do as much damage. Again, I don't know which section they're on. I think they're going to be attacking the western side. I'll kind of split my archers up here. So we have two, uh, the western and eastern sides covered. The steel bowmen. Ooh, also, Muriel is a bow general's bodyguard. Good. So, we'll have you guys group up. I think he's also like the steel bowman. Uh, Tar Muriel, royal guard. So these guys have pretty good stats. They're very similar to the steel bowmen. Um, just morale is 30 higher. So, we'll have you guys there initially. And what I think we'll do is, again, I kind of want to have it so that... Let's see, I'll have the garrisons. 
we're going to do initially is I kind of want to have you guys be able to kind of hold this middle section. So archers be able to shoot into the section, kind of hold them down here. Kind of similar to when I know I played um, Fall of the Samurai. It was very useful to always have guns up top, blob up kind of down below, and then hold them here. And then the archers can just freely shoot into them. So we'll have you guys sit there. Um, I can have my other spearmen, again, because again, I don't know which side they're going to attack on. I'm assuming west. Um, you can be over on this side, kind of making sure we can prevent them from getting on the wall. This section we'll just let fall. The, the, the first layer we let fall, that's fine. Then we have my Numenorean swordsmen and my Numenorean heavy infantry. I will have you guys in reserves. Um, especially you guys. You guys are my elites. You're my the most elite units I've got. I want you to be uh, the final reserves and kind of hopefully, as soon as they've like wasted all their men, you guys will finish off the enemy army. So they are actually attacking from the south. Okay, that changes my plans a little bit. So we'll actually have you adjust these units. Kind of same idea, but you guys go down here. And then I need to have it so that what we'll do is I will adjust my archers. Uh, you guys are actually fine as you are. Um, I can just move you over this way. I'll move my general and my steel bowmen. And you guys to then actually be watching this section here. Spearmen are still fine as you guys are. And then I think we can adjust uh, this archer. I'll have you up here too. Kind of kind of right there. The general's bodyguard. Well, they do have some guys on the left side here, actually. So I think it's fine to keep you as you are. So it's just this side had to be adjusted. That side had to be adjusted. Um, these units here, I want you... So they are kind of ignoring this section over here. So we're going to kind of walk on over this way. Try and get my reinforcements up this area. And for right now, at least, yeah, these guys do need to stay where you are. So kind of go right there. Archers are starting to unload. If you can, ideally, we want to focus on archers or general's bodyguard. So if you guys can focus those units down... You guys have so much range. Yeah, try and focus on the other archer units, because as long as they don't get to unload onto us, that's perfect. General's Bodyguard is another unit that I would like to focus, but he's currently not uh, around here. So let's have these archers on my side here. You guys definitely want to try and make sure you're focusing on the... Oh, that's the Numenorean City Guard. Yeah, that's a good unit there. So try and focus on them. You guys are trying to take in some damage. Let's get you a little bit closer to the uh, side, so it's a little bit harder to shoot you. Same right like there and right there. Actually, I could have you guys just, like, flank into these. Actually, no, yeah, let's just have you guys flank over here. So you guys are going to be making your way over this way. You're going to try and hit their archers from the back line. So skirmishers just get set up there. The walls um, are no longer ours. This guy the enemy have taken them. I do appreciate they have some of the Divide and Conquer, Third Age voice lines. Those do really fit quite a lot. Yeah, so they're making their way up there. Some of these guys are taking a bit more damage than I'd like them to. It's primarily because of those skirmishers. Yeah, so get a little bit closer. Hopefully, you guys rushing on into these archers uh, is going to do some good damage. Yeah, they are doing some good damage to us, but my skirmishers are getting some good shots. Okay, the flank is starting. So we're starting to be able to harass their skirmishers with the salient of the force to sally out and help us out. Uh, we got you guys making your way over here. This area, they're starting to engage us. Starting to get onto the walls. I'm going to just keep trying to attack them as soon as they get up onto the walls. Make sure they don't get a, uh, a holding on this area. So you guys keep fighting. Same over here. I think this is the General's Bodyguard, actually. Yeah, Faithful of the Golden King. So you're the one we really want to focus a lot of attention on. Uh, do keep trying to hit that unit. Let's have you try and get over here as well. Let's get you guys off to the side. I want to make sure we can keep firing into these back line of these units. I do want to make sure we focus on you. Uh, you're not firing into the units, it says at least. Oh, no, you guys are. Yeah, you guys are firing. It just, just says you guys aren't. So yeah, these units here, specifically, yeah, fire into the backs of these guys. We have them perfectly set up, although... Uh, I don't appreciate how you guys are doing. Uh, this reinforcing general, you need to uh, try and rally those men near you. Also inspire that unit that's fighting alongside you guys. Because you guys need to break them over here. Let's get you guys just adjust a little bit more. You're going to focus into the back of this unit right here. D or at least distracting quite a few of their archers. So kind of turn around over here. And then my general is actually being shot at a little bit. They kind of have stopped. Yeah, these guys have stopped trying to fire. Uh, I need to have you guys now. Oh, my steel bowmen have taken a lot of damage too. Oh, I don't like that. I think it's these archers here, actually. I think you're the ones that are firing on us and making us take as much damage as we are. Not great. Some of my forces from the reinforcing army are starting to break. 
Morale's not doing the best. You guys are doing some good damage over here. Let's see, we've break it, broken some of the units here. They still have these archers trying to fire on me. You guys are holding well there. Balance of power-wise is still in my favor. So that's good. Still a little concerned with how things are going. I think I'm actually going to possibly bring you guys down. I do have it, so I sent more of my men over to help out over here. You're supposed to? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're supposed to be over here, guys. Okay, things are not going that well down here. I think I need to try and get this general out of here. I want to keep him alive, so we're going to try and pull you out. See if I can get you back to the city center. Uh, I don't appreciate how you're being surrounded by all these units. Uh, this unit needs to start trying to run away as well. Try and get back into the city center. That's what we're going to try and focus on right now. I was hoping you guys would be able to do a little bit better out here. You did the best you could. You did at least distract them quite a bit. Running from the field. We must rally I was not able to get that lost. other general out of there. I think he, since he ran and uh, did not get... Ca he should survive. As long as we win this fight, he should survive. But now we don't have my reinforcing army here to help us out. Um, still trying to do some good damage, if I can, to the general's bodyguard here. So he's still fighting. So far, bounce power is still in our favor right now. Like, you guys, yeah, they're saying they're archers up here now at this point in time on this side. Like, these areas are holding nicely. How are we doing kill-wise? So, 130 kills. These guys haven't gotten into the fight just yet because I'm keeping them in reserves. Uh, you guys haven't done a lot of damage. Archers, yeah, archers have done a lot. You guys have done a lot. Yeah, these guys have done a lot here, archers. Yeah, on average, about 100 kills each. So, that's not bad. Yeah, we're about to break more of these archers over here. I'll probably be having you guys turn your attention back over to help out on this section right now. Because if we can hold this section here, and th uh, this section's a little bit more difficult... But they are trying to make their way back over here now with these guys. But they still have to get up multiple areas. I still have quite a bit of ammo on these units too. So you guys can keep firing on them as they make their way up. A general lies slain upon the battlefield. Ah, oh, fuck. Is that my other one? It can't be you. You haven't taken any damage in a while. I've been having you sit here for a while. No, I think that's my reinforcing general. I believe you just died. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think the reinforcing general is now dead. Oh, I was hoping to keep him alive. Well, uh, there's a first of many generals that I'm probably going to lose in this campaign. But uh, hey, at least we now have it. So right now, I brought my reinforcements over here. You, have, Since you've been able to shadow this section, we're now trying to focus our attention over right here. They've got, let's see, some archers, swordsmen, swordsmen, our and swordsmen. Long, and so, tired. like, you guys still have, like, what? Yeah, decent amount of ammo still on these guys. I would love to be able to take this tower back after you guys deal with these units. Bringing more reinforcements up here right now. Because at the moment, you guys are just chilling there. I can probably have at least this swordsman uh, try and help out. Because the general's bodyguard, he's at 60 guys. So if we can kill Farazon right there, that'd be perfect. Uh, you guys are being shot at. Try and hide behind this if you can. These are steel bowmen. Uh, I kind of want to try and send you into melee with them. I kind of want to. What are you doing? What are you doing? My lord, we are running what out of What are you doing? I am just about to shadow this unit. Our army is running Almost the there. Field. We must rally our men before okay, I think we're lost. fine, game. I think we're fine. I wish I could tell how many men they have left at this point in time. Because, like, for the most part, I just see a lot of their archers. Like, these, there's these two units here. That's the same one as uh, over here, I believe. Yes, it is. Oh, no, technically it's something different. Um, There's some steel bowmen here. Steel bowmen here. Like, the steel bowmen are good units. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you guys need to fight those spearmen. Fight those spearmen before they get a place in the walls. And if I need to, I still have a lot of guys in reserves. I still have my heavy infantry in reserves. You guys have barely taken any damage right now. And, oh, this area just shattered. Yeah, this area just shattered. So let's get all of oh, they're broken. They're shattering. Um, let's break all these guys. I'm going to have one of you probably go back over here, try and take this tower back under our control. And then what we need to do is make my way back over. So for right now, you guys, yeah, they're fighting over here. Keep that tower under our control. These guys, I think now, actually, is when I bring you guys over. Let's have you help out with these Numenorean spearmen. Because these guys are my... This is my best infantry unit that I can recruit, as far as I'm aware. So I'll have you guys make your way over finally. Start helping out. And see if you can help break these basic spearmen over here. My guys aren't doing the best, but they're just trying to, right now, at this point, all kill the general. And he's not doing... He's taking a lot of damage. 
Okay, they're trying to make their way up onto the walls now with their steel bowmen. Um, I'm going to send my garrison archers over there first. They have nothing to do. They have no ammo. So I'll send you guys to try and plug this hole. If I need to, I will send my general with my steel bowmen over here. I need to make sure I don't lose these units. The most important units for me to not lose are going to be these steel bowmen, my heavy uh, spearmen, and then probably my... Yeah, just basically those, those units. Those have to survive. So as long as they survive, we can do this. Like, this general is slowly dying. If he breaks, I think the enemy army will shatter. Um, now that we've reclaimed this tower, let's get all of my garrison spearmen to try and help out and focus him down. This section's doing well. Over here, yep, you're shattering those steel bowmen. Love to see that. As you guys are desperately trying to hold this position. For the might of Numenor, you must hold these walls, guys. I know they don't look like Numenorian walls, but uh, just uh, use your imagination. Uh, as we're trying to fight them the best we can. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. The oh, enemy fucking General finally. Dead. We have set He's finally dead. Hell. Oh god, that's so useful. So you're now dead. Hopefully that means that their men are going to start shattering soon. We've almost fully taken this area back. Uh, we just have a couple units to get through. There's like 60 guys, 30 guys. Okay. They are breaking. I'm sending my forces, at least you guys, to try and properly shatter these guys. Everybody is dead at this point, except for the general's bodyguard. He's close. He's wavering. He's trying to break. With the general dead, the the rest of their army did not do a whole lot there. So as soon as you guys get over to the steel bowmen and the uh, what are they? Just basic archer? Yeah, steel bowmen and some spearmen. So as soon as you guys get over here, this will be the end of this army. I took a hell of a lot of damage, but we won. We were able to hold. You guys did some pretty good damage here. Let's see. So. General's bodyguard, I didn't have to get you into melee there, so that's good for us. Um, but for the most part, like, let's see, who's the MVP of this fight? 130, 70, 74, 60, 25. Steve Bowman is good. 430, this guy, this garrison veteran fighter, you absolutely shattered. Yeah, you were so, you were the MVP. Some of these other archers, though, did really good damage to you. You got 300 kills. So it really was my garrison army here that really did it in for the end. But there we go. We've now shattered Ferrazon's force. And uh, hopefully they took a hell of a lot of damage from that. Because then we can try and... Well, we're going to need replenishment. We're going to need replenishment first. And then we can try and uh, push out of this area. And uh, try and make a counterattack. That's the hope, at least. Seeing as how we did a lot of damage to them. I do think I lost my other general's bodyguard. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I don't know if he was important. I don't think he was. Um, he wasn't my heir, I believe, at least. So he shouldn't be important. But uh, we did probably lose him. I should probably still bring over that other general's bodyguard that uh, I was trying to bring on over. Um, let's see. So we lost one unit, and that's the garrison unit. So that's fine. So they only had... Yeah, this is again. I love when the enemy like fights more like this. So they have barely anything left. Um... Kill-wise, yeah, it's just the veterans, and it was really the garrison. The garrison did most of the damage. It's primarily because I kept everybody in, uh... Oh, wow, you... Wait, did he survive? Did he survive? Nope, <laughs> he died. He died. But my, my main general's bodyguard got a lot of experience. Yeah, so... So this man did die. I'm sorry. You served well, my good sir. You did your best. You, you, you served Numenor proud. And you helped us... Uh, he died a valiant death. Like, straight up. Uh, Haradrim Black Snake Clan wants trade. You know what? I need money right now. Um, at the moment, you are at war with Pelagir, so I'm probably not going to want to stay uh, very friendly with you. But for right now, I'm okay with trade. I'm okay with some trade there. Because I'm, I'm definitely going to be trying to need to kill you guys at some point, uh, probably. But there we go. That's probably the biggest fight that we needed here, is that one right there. So that absolutely did a huge number on them. I'm sad that that guy died, though. But yeah, let's have you grab up, grab these guys. We're getting replenishment. We can now recruit some more stuff. So I can now get some Numenorean archers. I think what I'm going to do... How many recruit slots do we have? We have just... I don't have a lot of money. I'm going to try and get another archer and another spearman. I'm going to take the time. I need to recover anyways. So we need to try and uh, take some time to recover. 
you guys do get a quite a bit of replenishment per turn. So what I would say is we'll try and do that. We can sit here for right now, kind of gather my forces together. I'm going to have you go here just in case to try and hold this area. Um, but yeah, we had the honorable death of uh, Heru Newman. I'm going to hope you are not important. Uh, actually, maybe I should check my family, can council and everything like that. No, he wasn't. Because let's see, who is my who is my heir, actually? I should double check that. So I know who I can be okay getting killed. Because we've got, um... Faction leader is you. Did I have a faction heir? I kind of assume it might be a Sildor. Or an Elendil. I don't know, but I don't want to get you guys killed. Um, let's keep gathering these men together. And then we can do our counterattack here. So, guys, <laughs> so many of you fuckers in here. I should be fine with the auto resolve. I don't know if the auto resolve is going to be all that bad for us. I lost nothing. That's that's how it should be, honestly. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, the art. Okay, the archers made, did their thing. Like, you guys did what you're supposed to. There we go. So, we're going to peacefully occupy this region. Marion has been able to uh, build himself up. Don't have any cash right now to repair that, but I will work on that at some point. Um, I definitely don't want to make sure you guys are blobbed up like this for too long. I really don't want to have you guys like this, but for right now, we kind of need to. Uh, you did get a rank up, though, so let's have you. So, for right now, let's see. So, we can do get more happiness, tax rank where you're at, wealth province and the territory you're in, uh, income from looting, more loyalty food. Also, just get more movement range. Like, that's not bad. I'll probably just max that out immediately. Giving you more movement range is an amazing thing to do. Probably gonna say for right now, you should just kind of chill over here and kind of replenish, as we are gonna want to rebuild this area. Build it back up. And I would say right now, so... I need an agent if I can. I need somebody to spot... Okay, so next turn... Um, so how much does it cost to repair this? It costs... Oh, I don't have 30 coins. Can I get somebody to give me 30 coins? Um... Uh... Hey! Pelagir. gear. Welcome indeed, my honorable can I friend. can can I get what shall we discuss in the whole I want I want I want 27 coins <laughs> this is unacceptable I just need like three coins can I get three coins maybe three I just need three so I can fucking repair the thing like please guys actually no let me do this uh let's talk to you guys hey you want trade that's satisfactory uh can I get a payment of three coins just three. I'm only asking for three. Are you seriously not considering that you might not accept this? I just need three coins, guys. Okay. Next turn! I will then do something, I guess. I do hope that that one army of theirs was their made force. Because if that was, I probably just shattered their entire military. Um, so let's have you guys grab that, repair that, and then I'm gonna have you, it's a, it's a ninja, technically, but, uh, we're going to get a spy, um, who I'm going to be utilizing primarily for scouting. So let's have you get, uh, more, um, campaign line of sight, probably not gonna have you sabotage, I might have you assassinate. Um, scouting the field, chance to avoid detection, so if we go down, let's see, so, reduce to his cost, we use it to reduce his cost a ton. So, more substitute fusion when it's by networks. I could really go all hard this way. So, avoid detection. When embedded into an army. At the moment, I don't have you in an army, and I'm probably not going to put you into an army. Um, so, this is when embedded for an army, primarily. Substitute some sabotaging armies. Sabotaging buildings. Success chance. I kind of want you... I think we should just have you do this. I can have somebody else be better at assassinating, but for right now, you, your goal is to scout. So you will be the first scout. You're going to be going down this way to kind of see what's going on down here. It looks like there's three settlements here, and I can kind of push you guys back because I don't see another one over this way. And so then I'll be able to try and push you guys back a little bit. So for right now, uh, you guys are recruiting. Do we have more recruit slots? Let's see, militia. 
I can have up to more uh, more recruit slots. Um, I want more of the well, no, those are the swordsmen. I want more of the bowmen. Oh, these guys are cheap as hell. Oh, but these bowmen are just so much better. I kind of want to get more archers in this army because we don't have a lot of archers. I have three at the moment. Infantry, we should be okay on right now. So let me try and recruit another archer, and I can basically get <laughs> the volunteers are crap. So we're gonna not grab them for right now. I would say you're kind of close to... They might attack you, so I'm going to try and have you get an archer. This area here, as soon as it's repaired, I think I'll start... Well, I, I want to try and figure out like what area we want to go for next. I kind of feel like I should focus this stuff first. But also, like it, I'll, I'll, I'll know more next turn once I start scouting with my spy. So we had a sabotage attempt um, over here, and then also an enemy raid. So that we kind of know about. Is that the same one? Yeah, it's just... Oh, no, there's two enemy raids. So they raided two things over here. Okay. So for right now, you guys kind of just stay as you are. I think what we're going to do... So first and foremost, you need to scout this area. So there's a city right there. Actually makes quite a bit of money. And there's another one over here. Yeah, these are pretty vulnerable areas. I should get rid of this army, though, at least. So we need to kind of take some more time to properly replenish anyways. So let's try and send you guys up this way. They're probably going to run. Yeah, they're going to run. But it gives us more time to try and continue replenishing. Oh, no. That, okay. They're not going to get away here. Let's uh, let's fight this ourselves. Because I want to make sure that we absolutely slaughter these guys. Then what we'll do is uh, we'll pull this army back down south. I, I think I'll have these guys focus on the south. Um, we can try and keep claiming those areas with these guys. And then I can have um, my faction leader be the one that will eventually try and focus on these core regions as soon as I've been able to recruit him a bit more troops. So that way we have two armies going about doing their thing, trying to have it so we can take uh, focus on the core and the western side of Numenor at the same time. I mean, I hope that's going to work well for us, because I think, at, at the moment at least, I don't see any other massive armies that they have. I think me shattering that one force is really going to hurt them insanely hard. So that's my hope, at least. Let's get you guys to group here. And then again, kind of same idea with my elites. You guys will flank as soon as everybody's in position. Archers, you guys can kind of get set up as well. So yeah, start the battle. And then just uh, start moving up with spearmen in the front. Spearmen in the front. Militia in the back. Archers, get as close as you can. And then just start trying to unload on them. And my elites in the back for right now. Okay, they're opening up on us. I have my archers returning fire on their steel bowmen, as these guys are doing quite a bit of damage as they unload into us as they make our way up. But, spearmen forward. So if you guys start trying to charge on into their forces here. There, there, there. And I've also got my swordsmen here that can join on in in the fight. I've already got my elites trying to make their way around to flank. So you guys are already going to be trying to make your way over here. And then uh, you guys will try and flank here. And I'll bring these three, these four, as well over. Uh, archers, so far, yeah, you're doing really good damage to their steel bowmen. I don't think I'll have to worry about you guys. We now just need to worry about surrounding the rest of their army and slaughtering them. Yeah, steel bowmen taking a good amount of damage each shot there. So there's a couple more volleys I think you guys will break here. Oh, yeah, there you go. God, I love... I forgot how much I love the feel of archers in Shogun 2. I think this is where they peaked with archers and skirmishers in uh, Total War games, as they just feel really goddamn good. And now at this point in time, their spearmen are already shattering. A lot of their bodyguards are slowly dying now at this point. Most of them have lost about, well, yeah, about a third of their units in overall. Um, and also, I should now remember to, again, inspire the other generals in the general circle jerk, where I'll just have one general keep inspiring the next. And why not? Because, hey, it works well that you guys can just keep improving your melee stats. I know it's. I know eventually I'm going to try and make sure you guys have your own unique individual armies. At most, because I know in Shogun 2 I kind of like doing this. Um, I might have it so that what we can do is uh, have it so we put maybe two generals in an army at once. I don't mind that. I like having that kind of balancing act of, hey, this is my main general, this is the sporting general. I I've always kind of liked that mentality, at least, in Shogun 2. I know I did that a lot with, uh, like, my daimyo, and I'd have his son follow him around to kind of learn the ropes, essentially. 
but also goddamn it is busted to have so many generals in the same army and just have them circle jerk support each other. Like you guys are really good units. There we go. So now I don't believe those guys should get away because they already ran once. So they should die after this. And uh, these forces will be completely destroyed. I will send this army now back south once again um, to start trying to focus on claiming more of the southwestern bits of Numenor for ourselves as those areas seem fairly vulnerable and I should be able to try and push on in over there rather quickly, take some land as I can't wait until we finally conquer the entire island as once we have, I am going to be in a really good position to keep developing myself and properly make a true Kingdom of Numenor, which will be great. So yeah, those guys are dead. I'll start trying to make my way back down here. We'll go for uh, Helendor first. So it takes two turns to get over there, but that does give me some time to try and replenish most of my guys. And then what I will say is I will want to repair this stuff here. So that and that. I've got a little bit of money right now. So is this area... Uh... Devastation, but that's going to be going down. So I think I am going to. Again, I want a Goldworks jeweler in every damn city. <laughs> every city is going to have one. I think that's the last one I'll build for right now because I think I need to keep trying to focus on. I would say the the orchards would be the best one for me to get. Technically, they may give less than fields, but that public order is going to be something I really need, especially when I try and keep spamming out more of the jewelers. So okay, I think that's. I lied. That's another one I'm going to get right there. So just grab that, I would say. Um, also, for these tro this troops, um, I almost kind of want to send you over to join up with this army. But also, I'm still letting them just like slowly build themselves up. I can use uh, four more units here. So four more units, and then I will probably have you start trying to siege um, Lerotron. Uh, because uh, that is the biggest area they've got around here. So we'll try and see if we can take that, and then kind of just go around into these other territories. Okay, so we have some mounting unrest probably. Yeah, right around here. It's kind of not, uh, not surprised by that. So resistance to invaders is the primary thing going on right now. Um, I am bringing my forces back over here. So I'll have you guys kind of sit in the city once again. Um, main reason you guys are upset is because of buildings, invasion, and tax burden. Um, let's see if there's anything I can... I do have a little bit of money. So let's see if we can get anything that gives you guys more public order. Um, eh, performance station would be bad. It consumes food. I want to more blacksmiths at some point. I'll probably say, yeah. We can get the we can get the stage uh, performance stage, so we can grab that. Give you guys a little bit more public order, and then at the moment, right now, nothing else there. Okay, so this army here, I don't have enough money to get the troops I want. I kind of think I can start recruiting, uh, sieging this army now, though. We're fully replenished. Let's start sieging this area. Oh, hello. Uh, if they sally out, which I think they're going to, this is not bad. We also do have more archers now. So yes, let's continue that siege. Because I think you guys are going to try and sally out. Is that fair something good? Oh, he's still alive. I thought I killed you. Okay, so we'll siege that area there. Um, you guys are a little upset. Buildings is the main thing. Um, I do want to, because I know I usually like to do this, um, lower taxes a little bit. Oh, I'd be losing so much money. Oh, I need to get more public order in that area. You do not have a public order building. How much time in? Let's see. So one more turn, and I'll finish that orchard thing. So then we can have it so that you will switch the uh, the farms to the orchard, make less money. But the public order, I think, is more important right now. So I think that's not a bad idea. And also, I can always go back into the city next turn. Uh, I think one turn it'll be fine. You won't have to, you won't rebel in that meantime. Okay, they are going to sally out. They did bring another army on in. Farzon is actually not in reinforcing range. So at the moment right now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm they do outnumber me slightly my quality is higher and so what I want to do is I want to try and rush at this first army immediately they have primarily a bunch of archers so if I can get in melee with these guys um, actually their reinforcements might be coming from Ooh, could I flank them could I just camp them on their map as they're trying to make their way in because given the layout where they're attacking from these guys were on the eastern side 
So the reinforcements might be around here. Yeah, if their reinforcements are right around here. Ooh. Yeah, so. I think what we can do is I can try and have my archers here. You guys can, if you focus on the main army that is attacking us, I will slaughter them. I'm going to try and have my infantry here. Oh, all my infantry. Because of here. Because I think they're going to spawn around here. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Move on up, guys. Yeah, move on up. Yeah, you guys just keep trying to defend our flanks. Yeah, so these are, this is the garrison army. I can immediately flank you guys and just slaughter you. Oh, hell yeah. So, get all my infantry forward up here. Get you guys to try and run on in. Get in melee with this garrison force. And ideally, uh, we might want to have, like... Yeah, you guys are kind of in the back anyways. Let's have you kind of be the ones that will defend these guys. But uh, the rest of you are trying to run on in here. Start getting in melee with the garrison force. So there, there, there. And I've got these other three, yeah, three, uh, on the back side. Those are spearmen there. And then I'll just have it so that you guys... Uh, it looks like they're actually trying to regroup with their allies right now. That's what it kind of looks like. So my archers here, I'll actually have to have you guys kind of ignore their uh, garrison force for right now. Just kind of focus our attention over here. We want to focus on these guys. And then I can just flank you, my men here. Actually, so you go there. You flank here. You flank here. You go around. These are all spearmen for right now. They don't see any of their archers right now. Let's get you to kind of line up over here. Yep, that's the thing we want to focus on. So all my archers, focus your attention on to... Uh, wait, are they still firing? Oh, good chunk of you guys have range. So if you can, start shooting these city guard units. Focus all of my archers onto that one section. And then you, I uh, don't like that you're being shot in the back, but uh, for the moment right now, I think it's okay. Um, we'll be trying to have my archers try and focus on their skirmishers for right now. This one unit taking some damage, that's probably fine. Okay, bounce power is still pretty even. I am focusing down one archer at a time. A lot of my spearmen are kind of taking quite a bit of damage. Don't appreciate that all that much. Um, but things are going well around here. I just need to keep focusing down archer after archer. So we're going to focus here, keep making our way more towards the right side right now. My spearmen are now in position and starting to fight. Trying to have you guys flank here a little bit for right now. This really is just going to come down to how much damage I can do with my archers and if I can kill their archers faster. Because if I can do that, we'll be okay here. Because I just need to keep focusing you guys down. And at the moment right now, you guys are doing some good damage. Yeah, decent amount of damage there. 50 kills. Infantry is doing well. These sections over here, as soon as they start breaking, and I can kind of fold more in on their troops, we should be able to do a bit more to their garrison. Is that my guy wavering? That is. Am I in range to inspire that man? I am! Inspire him! You are under the, the leadership of the King of Numenor. You are not meant to falter. Okay, so some of my guys are starting to break. I do have it, so since we've been able to shatter this section, I'm having one of you peel off and go for the archers. Because I've been doing some good damage. What are you doing? No, 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 over here. Again, go for these skirmishers. Get these guys to stop firing. Because my skirmishers tired. are doing good damage. I just need to keep focusing them down one at a time. Spearman here, you're almost done with these Numenorean swordsmen. So once you're done, you can start jumping into melee and start fighting the archers. Because this is doing well. Bounce power-wise, still looks like it's pretty even for the most part. But I personally would say that I think, given how things are going right now... As long as I prevent their archers from firing, I should win. Okay, we've used up all more ammo. I have to actually now get my general up in melee here. So I'm trying to get the archers first. Their top priority, I would say. Because as soon as all the archers are dead, then we can start trying to flank these guys and absolutely overwhelm their infantry. Because there's not a lot of them left. I need to have you, let's have you try and uh, rally the men. Make sure they know that the king is here with them. Because like these guys are not doing that well over here. Um, I had one of my super bowmen, because you're out of ammo, trying to get on in here and help out against these skirmishers. Let's have you get back over here and try to hit the garrison guard uh, veterans, because those guys are still firing. You guys are still firing because you still have a bit of ammo. You're already in melee with everybody else, so you just need to make your over here. Keep going around the back side. Come on, come on. Right about there. Join on in. Uh, you are now out of ammo. You're still firing. And get you to help out over here. 
I'm taking a lot of damage for this uh, battle, but I think it's going to be worth it. We should be able to win this and then take the city afterwards. Oh, shameful day. Our army is running from the field. We oh, must rally our men before all is lost. My weaker guys are running off the map. Come on, we should be able to win this. I might have to try and delay. Yeah, try and pull back, guys. Like, this is close. They don't have a lot left. Oh, but I do not want to lose my Steel Bowman, because it's going to take a while for me to be able to retrain these guys. Come on, guys. I believe in you. Keep fighting. Your king is here with you. Okay, we're down to just a couple guys. My general at the moment is doing all of the work. He has killed almost 400 guys himself personally at this point in time. This unit is as well still holding really nicely, so you and my general might be able to still win this, because I'm going to keep inspiring you. And my general's bodyguard, he's losing a little bit. I need you to specifically actually kind of make your way over here to surround and flank. Because as long as you can flank these guys and give some support to my general's bodyguard, I, sh th I think we can still win this. The bounce power is kind of ticking up slowly in my favor. Let's see, get over here. Just want to make sure we surround the swordsman here. Yeah, surround that guy there. Get on in. And keep fighting, guys. I have these units over here, I had to just try and surround this unit. Because otherwise, they're just not going to leave me the fuck alone. It is now down to just my general's bodyguard. This guy has no ammo. And he's just kind of sitting there. Um, to try and make sure that there's still at least one other unit fighting. Or at least still on the map. This is close. My stats are so good, I think we might be able to beat these guys. Oh, wait, just the garrison retinue now. <gasps> Come on. Come on. Prove to them why you are the king. You're still alive right now. You're still fighting. Also, do I have a unique model for my general's bodyguard? I, I didn't check that initially. I probably should have, just so I can pay attention to see if he dies. Because <laughs> I really hope he doesn't. Because I really like this bodyguard. I really like this bodyguard unit. Because at the moment, I'm slowly losing men, but also I think I'm killing their men faster than they're killing mine. Let's just see, there's like 36 guys there, 40 guys there. So there's about 140 guys, and you get 140 kills, and we win. Or less than that, if they all break. Come on, flee before me, you fuckers. Come on, I want to, come on, let's keep fighting, watching this. They technically outnumber me 2 to 1. It's the Governor Retinue. But, I, I hate that I can't inspire myself. Can I inspire myself? Oh my god, I can inspire myself. Hell yeah. <laughs> the true meaning of the circle jerk. There we go. Come on, guys. You just need to shatter this unit. I'm almost so tempted to bring you back over this way. Soldiers! It's on 50, 20. He's got 58 guys. What are the stats on this unit? I want to know, because I want to know... I should be able to win this fight. It's just I'm also really low on troops. I don't like how low I am. I'm trying to bring my archers in here too. See if that will be just enough. Nope. Now my guys oh, withdraw. Day. Our army is running from the field. I we shouldn't be dead though. All is lost. I shouldn't be dead though. Please don't have him be dead. I didn't withdraw the first time. So they should be pushing me back. That was so fucking close. That was so goddamn close. My king should be alive. My army should be damaged. But I think it should survive. A good chunk of it, at least. So we'll pull back, replenish, and hit again. <laughs> Just my king alive. Fuck, I lost the steel bowman. I lost the steel bowman in my heavy infantry. Damn it. That was so cool. I'm making money now, at least, but damn. At least my king is alive. But fuck, I, I should have won that. That was so close. I just needed the break sooner. At least I did not lose my king. So he is still alive. I uh, brought some men over to try and help with the yeah, sabotage attempt. So we now finished that stuff, at least. So you guys here... I brought you over to try and have it so that you can make sure this area is happy. We now need to continue recruiting my troops again. So we're going to need to... I actually have a lot of recruitment slots. So I can get a lot of you guys back up and running almost immediately. Um, to get 
Numenorean Rangers. Okay, because what do I need to get everything that I want? So, to get the Armored Spearmen. Something on, not you. Yes, yeah, the heavy ones. So, this. Wait, which one was it? It's not showing me. Art, art not mastered yet. It's not showcasing which one's supposed to be. Oh, it's, uh, sorry, it's this one. So I have to get all the way down there. That's also what gets me Steel Bowman, too. I am going to... I, I can ignore that stuff for now. I'm going to start just maxing out this to get to those units as soon as possible. But I think this is not completely... like not. It's not salvageable. They took a lot of damage. I am doing some good work over here. Um, I think for right now, basically, I might have it so that what we can do is maybe send some of this army over to that army. Uh, so you guys can continue pushing. But I do not think this is... I think this is salvageable. I think that we can still do some well, good uh, good work with this. But I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts about it in general. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.